Hey guys, what's up? My name is Michael and in this video I'm going to be talking about fear and how fear is holding you back from doing the things you want to do and how to overcome it. All right, so that's a question I get pretty often, actually. A lot of people DM me on Instagram or on Facebook and stuff, and they ask me stuff like, Michael, how do I start? Like, I want to start a business. Like, for example, most of these guys want to start an online business, right? Uh, how do I uh, How do I start it? I'm, I'm afraid it will fail. I mean, I, I just don't want to start, and then I want to, and then I, I lose or something, and then I don't make money, and I'm afraid of bad things happening when I when I pursue my dreams and stuff, you know? And uh, I'm afraid what my parents will think about that or what my friends will think about uh, if I just step out of the norm and do, do something on my own, right? So a lot of you guys want to know what's my take on this whole fear thing, um, if I'm afraid a lot or if I have like a strategy or something uh, to fight against fear, especially like the fear of starting things and new things and stuff like that, right? But I mean, the reality is um, me personally, um, I got to admit, I'm not really like when it comes to business, I don't really fear that much because I'm really personally, I'm really a guy um, who just does things, who just like jumps straight into something. I'm not really over analyzing things before I before I do them and stuff, which is a good thing. But of course, I noticed that most people in the world are probably overthinkers and over analyzing things. And they never really get started and stuff. And I think it's always so sad when I like when I see people like especially online because it's basically pretty easy to start, right? Everyone can do it. Everyone can go out and create a blog or a website and start selling stuff and do things. I mean, of course, it's not easy to make money online. It's pretty hard and the competition is so high. But I mean, you can easily get started at least. So that's I always wonder why many people just get stuck even before they before they start anything, right? So in my case, that was never really the case. I just got started and, and did my thing, right? But I actually know people who um, who talk about things, they talk about getting started, they talk about um, how they wanna create a website and maybe they even created like a website or something. And I even know people who, who started like a small business online or something, made some money, and um, it, it's all right, it's cool, and you think they get started in something, but like one year later you ask them and they said, oh no, I just, I just stopped doing that because it got, I mean, I, 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 didn't, I didn't manage to increase my revenue or something, and um, I just quit on it basically, right? I mean, they don't say quit, but that's what they did basically, and I always wonder why, because I mean, if you're passionate about what you're doing, and that, that's the main part probably, if you're passionate about something, and if you really actually want something, meaning you actually think about this stuff all the time, you just do it. I mean, the, the fear, I mean, maybe fear and doubt is there, but it's it's not like it's really holding you back in a way. So in my opinion, if you say you want to build a business, but you say you're too afraid to actually start it, I mean, there's something wrong, right? I mean, you should really analyze what is holding you back? Maybe it's it's uh, uh, your family that is holding you back. Maybe your parents. I mean, often it really also depends on the way people were raised when it comes to all of this fear stuff. Um, then maybe if maybe your friends are holding you back. Um, so you really have to analyze like your surroundings and, and how you think like uh, and, and what's causing this issue because there's no reason to be afraid to actually start something, like to start a business, right? Because I think one reason is really uh, that people are always thinking way too small in a way that they that they actually take themselves too seriously. You know what I mean? Um, most of the people who are really afraid, they actually all, always just think about themselves. Like they think, what if I start this and it fails? What if I go bankrupt? What if I don't make money for myself so I can pay the rent and I can uh, eat and I have food and stuff like this, right? They don't think like about the bigger picture and stuff because when I think about doing things, I think about the whole world. Like I think I would um, 
the reason why I'm not afraid, or at least when, I, if I'm afraid, I tell myself this, I mean, there's the universe, right? And we're just like a very small, like our planet, the earth is just a very small thing in the whole universe. Like in the, the universe just this doesn't give a fuck like about me or my business or your business, right? So, I mean, I might as well start it. I might as well fail. I mean, it, it, it is what it is, you know? Um, and in in a thousand years or in, in in a million years, no one gives a crap about what you've done or what I've done or what Bill Gates has done or uh, I don't know, no one. Like I promise you guys, in one million years, no one will give a fuck about anything, you know. So and a huge problem is also time wise. People think way too short term. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to think long term because I personally myself, I think about. I fantasize about like how I how I am in like 30 years, 40 years, how my business is going to look like in 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 30 or 40 years, right? And it really excites me when I think about this. What what can be done in this amount of time, right? But most people just think like from month to month, like if I start this today, can I pay the rent next month or something like this, right? That's how most people think. And and that's a big mistake. And don't get me wrong, when I say the universe doesn't give a fuck about you and in, 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 in one million years, no one is going to care about you anymore. I don't mean this in like a depressive kind of way because there's two things you, got, you could think about because some people, uh, when I tell them this fact, uh, they go like, I mean, they say, and, and why do you even, why would I even start something then? Because everything doesn't make sense, right? It, it's, it, it, it doesn't matter if I start something or if I build a business or not, or not. If in one million years, no one cares about it, why would I even do something? I can just lay back if everything doesn't matter at all. But in my case, actually, this mo motivates the shit out of me for some reason, because um, it, it just, the the fact that, basically everything or basically nothing really matters in like the cosmos of time really motivates me because that kind of gives me to the permission to not be afraid you know what i mean because if i see everything so so too tight and everything too um too strict in a way it's really i mean it's really hard to not be afraid because then you get caught up in all of these small things like the small tasks and the the small thoughts of small people and and it just it's just weird you know so you really have to kind of like you have to try uh you have to try to actually um create this this big picture long term kind of thinking right i mean it's not going to happen overnight you know if you're watching this video and that's like the first time you actually get in in touch with this kind of thinking or something that people like me have um, then it might be, it, it's probably kind of weird for you, like to you, it, it probably sounds kind of weird to you when you hear people talking like this, but trust me, if you read the right books, um, if you, if you study that stuff and if you, once you really implemented that, the, all of these thoughts in your brain, I mean, it kind of starts developing and I mean, it didn't happen overnight for me. Like, uh, like even for me, it didn't happen overnight, you know, I mean, when I was a teenager and stuff, I was really like just a normal person, you know, so I had to, and I grew up in a very normal background, right? So I really had to get, give myself all of that knowledge myself. I mean, I had to read books, I had to study materials and no one really gave it to me. So it, it's possible no matter where you're from and, and what you do. So, I mean, the, the thing about this video really, I mean, the, the main thing you can take from this video is probably just, I mean, just do it. Uh, don't be f afraid, uh, fear nothing. I mean, because there's no reason for fear. I mean, yeah, you're gonna die anyways. I mean, and if you don't do it right now, you're gonna regret it when you're old. So, I mean, that should motivate you actually. Um, yeah, hope you liked the video and see you in the next one.